Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. It is I, the great Dr. Bright, with my lovely friends here that are with me. This is also hello. This is also a tired bright stream if you couldn't tell. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> here you go. I am concerned and con I am concerned and worried that hashtag fanboy and Peter Griffin are trending at the same time. Why are they trending at the same time? Oh, so so Peter Griffin is now a confirmed fanboy. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll always be the pin boy. So, your screen looks very different than mine, uh, oh. and there's a reason for that. So you want to go up, and you want to go to window. Wait, not window. Wait, yeah, no, not window. Never mind. Fuck. Uh, where is everything? I forget. Okay. Perfect. You want teacher. to go to, themes, and there's themes. You can change what color you want the dark borders to be, the background, things like that. But right now, it's... It, yeah. You go up to the top, and there's tools, settings, file, edit, all that. Very blurry. Ah, uh, yes. Wait, if, you're, if you clicked on it, it's not showing on the stream. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't show then. Um, so, on settings, there's also dockers. Dockers is important. So you have advanced color sector at the top, and then there's a bunch of other ones. The ones I use are brush presets, palette, though that one I don't think is necessary. Uh, there's also recorder, but I think that's auto-selected, I'm unsure. Uh, there's also tool options, toolbox, and that's all the ones I have selected. Alright. Okay, so you have them all selected. Mm -hmm. You can also uh, play with, with whatever ones you want. I think, honestly, I want to do what is, what is storyboard. Oh, that fucked up my screen, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, but okay, there we go. Oh, you have everything. Okay, so on the side, set this up that makes you the most comfortable while using. So I have uh oh, oh also overview. If it, I think that's still an option. Docker's overview. Where is overview? Uh yeah, overview. You also if you don't have overview selected, I also re recommend that. They're also sorted in letter, alphabet, or order. Yeah. Also, undo history. I just realized that the grayed out ones are ones I have locked, meaning I can't get rid of. Uh, you want, you also want undo history if you don't have that one selected. Okay. Okay. Is that it? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, rearrange these that make you the most comfortable. I personally recommend having undo history along with your layers, so you can switch in between layers and undo history, and you don't accidentally mess with both of them at the same time. Okay. Wait, I didn't. Did I tell you how to do that? Uh, you grab where you see where the names are. At the top, they label what they are. What you want to do is you want to grab it and then you move it up to the other thing. It should gray out. It should gray out the area where the tool is. And 
and then you can lock it in place with the little lock on the side near the names. Okay. I can't tell if you're moving things around because your mouse is moving all over the place. I'm more along the lines of confused. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Because it's not working. If you're moving things around, it's not working on my screen. I I'm not moving anything around right now. Okay. But you have all the tools that you want selected, right? I believe so, yes. Now it's time to organize. If it would fucking load so I could help, but it's not loading because my internet's being slow. And also Crit is kind of weird when it comes to streaming. When it comes to streaming with Krita, you usually want to share your entire screen because it doesn't really work when they are not sharing your entire screen. Kind of breaks. And I don't know why. I think it's a Discord issue. Okay. I feel like most of the strange is going to be saying just okay. I mean, you are tired. <laughs> this is Dragon Stream now. Can I get things to work on my end? No. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, there we are. Oh. Okay, so, okay. Go on to Krita. I'm on Krita. Go to, see Undo History. See that? It's what? on the right hand, on your right hand area. See that? On the right? Down? Can you not see Krita? Uh, or is it just being weird on my end? Wait, I'm confused. Tool right. options. Oh, nope. It's... Okay, with tools? Tool options? Grab, okay, grab, use, the, grab the word tool options. Uh, no, no, no. You want to grab, but, but low, low, the, the smaller one. With the lock near it. Grab it. Drag to two. The, gra no, no, no. Drag down to where you see the brushes and the er eraser specifically. No, no, down. Right there. And now you have them right, uh, the most important tools right next to each other. So oh, undo history. I see where it is right here. Yeah, grab that, and I put it on my layers, but you can also, if you want to, put it on your overview. Uh, color palette, you can also, you can put that with the colors, which I recommend moving overview to be... Uh, yeah, that's that. Yeah, make overview larger because the undo history isn't the most important thing. Uh, grab the three dots. No, it's it's five dots. The little gray dots. It's right above layers. The word layers on your screen. Right there. Uh, that's yep. Yeah, that's that, that. That works. Uh, palettes. I don't. I don't know why. Yeah, I'd recommend putting that with something else. You you don't need that. You'll probably never use it. Just grab it and then pull it up. Do somewhere. Yeah, that that works. I recommend having brush. Yeah, there we are. Uh, tools. I put tools in a secondary spot because there it's really useful, but you don't use it all the time like you use brushes. Okay. Everything is organized. So now Maybe. I can introduce you to what? <laughs> Nothing. 
Okay, now I can introduce you to how things are. You have one more thing than I do. It's that weird circle thing with the petals. I don't have that because uh, I have a later version, but I think I know what that does. Okay, so of course, right now you have the basic tool, uh, the little brush tool. Just draw with that on. You can draw with that. You. That's what you do. Yay! <laughs> draw, draw, draw a happy face. Yay! No! <laughs> turn that frown upside down. Actually, here's how you turn that frown upside down. No, 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 no. Go back. Put it back. Put, put, put it back. Oh, you. Oh, no. Okay. Make it sad. Make it, you know. I, I, here's how you make it sad. Here, here's how you make it sad. So you go on your side screen. Why do I have a feeling? Oh, oh, no, oh, it's Pika. Okay, go. Okay. I so do. on your left oh, hand screen. On your left hand screen. I also recommend making the left side larger, because again, it has like all the stuff you need. There we are. Yeah. That no, no. That's that's a bit too large. You can you can push it back a little bit. No, there that yeah that's good. Again, you can make it so it's comfortable for you, cause yeah, that's the most important part. You're gonna be using this, not me. I have mine all organized how I want. But you haven't taught me how to change this upside down. Okay, so you see you see the little magic wand. Go up. No, go up, up, up. You can, you can also use it if you want, but okay, there's the square one, there's the circle one, there's a one where it makes lines, it's very distinct, and then there's the lasso tool where you can circle things. Use the yeah, uh, last, that one, use that, and select the, the frowny face. I fucked up. Actually, uh, if you hit, I think, okay, if you hit control... Uh, it makes it normal. If you use Alt, it makes it deselect. If you use Shift, not Shift. Oh, what's the other button? Maybe it is Control. I think it is Control. I think it's just weird on mine. Um, but I, what? Yeah. Okay. So you see that, and now you want to go back up. It's, it's you. You see the little little crossway one. You don't want to select that one. That one. That that one just moves it around. That's also next to the crop tool. That's the crop tool. And then the next thing on to the left, that little box with the dot in the middle, that one, you want to select that one. And now you can rotate it, you can shrink it, you can, yeah. See? And now he's happy! Now he's, he has a nose! You gave him nose surgery, and now he doesn't have a mouth. I don't know how that happens, but it does. Oh, you're still selected. Uh, to deselect quickly, it's I think it's Control Shift, uh, Tab, Control Shift Tab, or Control Shift D. Now what? Wait, wait. I have it. I have it set up on my tablet, so it's like an automatic tool for me. Um, <laughs> I I don't know. Okay, here's here's a different way to do it. Uh, cause I have it just set as a button on my art tablet. Uh, so here's a different way to do it. Go up, see the select option? Go down, hit deselect. Oh wait, it's control shift A. Control shift A. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's, a, he's a bit fucked up. <laughs> There's the hand tool that makes you, you know, move the screen. It's it's down. It's further down. It's like the, oh, hmm. we lost an Adorno. Oh, we're, we've gained an Adorno. Ooh, B, Z, Bo, Bezos. I don't think Bezos is sad. So there's the hand tool that makes you move the screen around. 
and then there's the magnifying tool that makes you zoom in and if you do i think if you hit control if you hit control it it moves out it zooms out but you can also do that with the over tool overview tool which is what i use a lot you can move around the screen and zoom in and zoom out <laughs> bookworm says bezos will be sad when we eat the rich lol point But now you have you have all the basic knowledge. It's, that's all the basic knowledge you need to know. Maybe. Also at the, the at the top, opacity that controls the brush opacity. Uh, and then there's also the size that controls the brush size. It's at the top. That's also where yeah. your eraser tool is, where you can turn the current brush into an eraser. You can also use the brushes that are erasers. And then there's this gradient one. That one that one locks you into being able to color in the the layer current layer stuff that's also on the layers you go to layers there's also those options okay so you can you can make the brush larger to erase it easier no. You can use the bracket tools to make it easier with using your keyboard, or you can go at the top and make it larger. What are you doing? Don't worry about it. I am very worried. Truly bright as ahead of her time. Uh huh. I, yeah, that's a nice way of putting it. Also, with the background, uh, when you're drawing, depending how sensitive your eyes are, it's best to change the background. Uh, with okay. Are you done with this file? I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, hit X. Hit X. Right there. Yep. And you want to hit no, don't save. So here's where, when you boot up Krita every time, this is where you start. Now, you want to hit new file. And it's not showing all the options. Okay, can you, on Discord, can you stop showing just Krita and show your entire screen? Because I feel like that will make this process a lot easier. No. What? Wait, now there's two critters. It it get it's weird sometimes. Just uh share screen one. Just don't dox yourself for some shit. Because uh, it is yes. it's showing all your stuff. Okay. Uh, yes, all my bank information will be seen now. Okay, that's why it was weird, because it's here you have it you're small. So now you have all the options of the things. Uh, can you make it like slightly larger? The the whole crit of thing. You can hit cancel the yeah. Bit small. All right. Uh, see you, Adarna. I made it a bit Bye, bigger, like you said. Okay, so is this lagging for me or are you just not? Okay, so hit new file. And so uh, when you do that, I'm doing the same thing because it's weirdly laggy on your end. So you, when you do that, there are, why is there a third option for you? Whatever. Oh, uh, I think it's canvas. Go to canvas. Because it's marked as content for me, but I don't think you have that because you're uh, updated. It's it's at the top. It's the top. Go over. Scooch over a little bit. Okay, yeah, you have that. Okay, so go to content. You have the same options. Never mind. Hit content. And that's, you see the where the white is? The white. The white. Mm -hmm. See that? Uh, if you When you select it, you can change it to any color you want. I personally use uh, medium gray. 
but I recommend using something that's comfortable on the eyes because when you're sketching, that's what you're going to see the most. What the fuck are you doing? I don't know. Yeah. I, I personally recommend something that's pretty neutral, not too bright, not too dark. It could also be, I see some people use a, pastels a lot, like pastel pinks and things and beige. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's how you change the background for the background layer. So, that's, okay, and now you hit create new, new thing. Okay. Also, with the cropping tool, you can make your, you can make your art stuff area larger. Also, if you draw off the canvas... Uh, you can hit the little move tools and you can move them back. It doesn't, some art programs delete when something gets off the canvas, but uh, Krita thankfully doesn't, which is pretty good. What? 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 What do you? Huh? <laughs> you did what to Jeff Bezos? <laughs> so now, brushes. You want to? You let? It's the, here's the fun part. Brushes. It is super fun to mess around with brushes. I also recommend uh, recommend making the brush selection tool larger. Uh, the, the the layers and the undo history does not have to be that large. Unless you want it to be large, but it, it can be it can stay medium. Here's the fun part. Brushes. Yes. Yes. Mess with all the brushes. There's also okay, so you want to hit the uh so you you see where the word all is on your screen with the brushes? You want to select all. And then you want to go down to, there are unta all untagged, there are demo, there are digital, there are erasers, there are FX, there's a lot to select from. Go to demo. Those are, these are, like, they're demo brushes. These are some of the prettiest brushes you will get. I don't see any demo. You don't have demo? Wait, okay, wait. Uh, Go to, it's, I think, it's, yeah, it's the little square. You see square? Go over. It's to your right, 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 right there. That select. Uh, do you have everything selected? Go down a little bit. These are all the brushes that you have. I have four. I have Krita three, Krita four, uh, Krita artist superior, Krita R R G B A. All those. Yeah, we have all the same ones. Okay. That's weird that you don't have demo. That's weird. Sure. Oh, now it is. It just appeared yeah, now. And these these are very pretty brushes. A lot of them are more paint paint orientated, but these are very pretty for like coloring and things like that. I can't see shit. Cause okay, go to color. Go to your color wheel. It's on its layers. The palette also works, but if you want to select, yeah. Oh, wait, go back to brush. Go back to brushes. What brush do you have selected? Okay, that's a smudge one. That's a smudge that you won't see anything. It's smudge. You, that, that smudges it around. There you go. And now with the smudge tool, you can fuck up that. See? Why? Why are you writing that? Don't worry about it. I'm quite worried. I feel like these art streams are just gonna make me go insane. Don't I already do that? Fair. Oh, okay. Here's a here's another fun thing. I I think this. Wait, yeah, maybe it is. Yes, there it is. Okay. So here's another fun tool. So, underneath the brush tools, you see where you have brush selected? It's on your left. On your left. This time. left. 
Alright, so you want to go down. Three. Uh, yeah, three on yours. Uh, no, up. Up. You see, it's, it's, it has arrows. The arrows one? Cl click that. Draw. Draw something. To be honest, multiple times I almost draw, drew the German party symbol. Yeah. That, <laughs> because yeah, I was spinning in a circle. Don't do that. That's bad. But that's, yeah. See? I'm making a piss cross. It's kind of weird that you, as a Christian, would make a piss cross. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, wait, my God, I'm not doing anything. My computer's catching up to me. Oh, yeah, because Krita, one, ne uh, one negative and downside about Krita is uh, it does kind of lag sometimes. Uh, but is, there's also other tools. This is what it looks like in the, the cells of piss. Mm. Uh, yeah, undo that. So, uh, when you go up, you go up one, and then you go to the right. Uh, more right. That one. Yes. Draw. Now stop. Yeah, that's, I don't really get the point of that one, but you can use it. I'm pretty sure it's more for, like, lining. I never use it for lining. I personally just use a stabilizer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you have a, a select and okay? Go to go to go to go to Google. Okay. Why would I go to Google? Go to Google. I I don't even have Google open. Why? Go to, I... go to Google. Look up. Look up anything you want. Look up a frog. Look up a picture of a frog. That, you know what? That works. Uh, okay, so what you want to do, so take a picture you want from there. That'll probably be the simplest. Uh, copy it. Copy the image. Hit copy image. Okay. Uh, you can leave Google now. Yep. Okay, go to your left. Go to your left. You see the pin tool? Select it. It's, it's right there. Yep. Hit that. Now, you want to go back over to your right. And you want to hit tool options. It's right near your brushes. Hit tool options. You want you see that little copy board right there? Paste board, the paste board, little clip clipboard. Click that. Uh I don't I don't <laughs> Whatever. Uh I don't know what you're supposed to do with that. Just hit yes. Hit hit agree. Hit agree. I hope you're reading these. I don't. Okay. Now hit paste. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. Nothing's happening. Hit paste. Uh, it's copy board. Down that one. Hit that. Okay. What image did you choose? Because it just works for mine. A fuck? What is wrong with yours? Because it just... The image data you were trying to paste has no color profile information. How do you want to interpret this data? Okay, maybe because of the image... Okay, choose a different picture. That one. It did cancel. Okay, do okay. What the fuck? And it's also, I can't read any, any. I can't read what it says. Let's see now. Wait, I think you fucked up something on your setting. I don't know how to undo it. Oh, there we go. There. 
And now you can move this around. This is not on a layer. This is an, a reference image, so you could put it anywhere. I prefer to put my reference images on the side. I use this for co uh, selecting colors and just general reference. See, now you have an SCP-999 on your screen. Do you wish to try to draw SCP-999 with the knowledge that you have so far? I will attempt. I mean, the, the, he's just a blob, so... There's a bunch of paint brushes, if you wish to use those to paint the boy. The lad. The absolute mad lad. That is wonderful. <laughs> Again, you can also make your brushes larger. There we go. Alright, so oh. now you have line art. Go to layers. It's near the undo history. Go to layers. Now, you want to hit the plus button. And now you want to move the newly created one without the line art. You want to hit uh, paint layer 2. You want to put that under paint layer 1. This? Or... Grab it, and then you move it. I think I can't move. I can't touch it. It layers. Layers. Go to layers. Okay. Grab it. There you go. Now move it under. Right there. Yep. And now you have your line art, and now you can uh, paint under your line art. Here's a, actually here's a here's a tool that I'll teach you right now. Okay. So what you want to do? Go to back to paint layer one. Click it. Okay. Now what you want to do, you have your magic wand. Go to the magic wand. It's on the left. It's in the select tools. No, down. Down. Near the bottom. Right there. Now, you want to select the outside of the line art. Right? Just click it. it it's selected, right? Mm -hmm. It's all the outside? Yep. Did you, did you select the inside? I selected the outside of the M of my drawing. Okay, good. Now you want to go up to select. I think it's. Select. Uh, okay, wait. I'll I'll select this one. So, okay, you go to select. Now you hit grow selection. It's near the bottom. Grow selection. Now hit okay. Now what you want to do is you want to hit invert selection. And now you go back to paint layer two. And now what you want to do, you can use the bucket tool or you can use your brush at a large scale. Uh, bucket tool, it, it's a it's bucket right there. Yep. Click. Now change the color from the color you have currently. But those are those are radiance. You don't want to use those. I prefer I, I would recommend just selecting the color, yeah. Okay. I think you fucked up something, but I, I think this is fine. There we are. It works. It's fine. Everything's good. See? Now, you can only paint within that area until you deselect. That's That took me a while to realize that. Um, <laughs> it looks like a mac and cheese version of 999. <laughs> Don't make fun of him. That's mean. You're a meanie. You, look what you've done. You made fun of him. Ooh. I mean, it's cute looking. But... <laughs> He's a bit fucked up looking, actually. Or are you going to draw 999 too? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I, I have to catch up. One moment. No. Fuck you. I also recommend any brushes that you grow attached to. I recommend what you want to do is you want to uh, right click on them. You want to hit assign tag, and you want to assign them to favorites. Oh my god, pink. Pink lad, he's pink. Oh my god. With what now? Uh, if you have a brush that you really like, what you want to do is you want to cover uh, your brushes that you have selected are in blue. You want to go over to the blue thing. You want to hit uh, right click it, 
and then go down to a sol uh, assign tag, and then you sol uh, s go to hit favorites, and all the brushes that they recommend you use and the brushes you grow attached to will be in favorites. What you wanted to go where you want to go is if we hit the down arrow thing on the down arrow thing, click click it's in the br it's up right above the brushes. Down, down, wrong arrow, down that that oh that right there. Go down all the way. Favorites. That's all your where oh well, that's weird that it is all the other brushes. That's weird. But th that's where all the brushes that you put in favorites will be. And those are brushes uh yeah, your your favorite brushes. I see. Also, with tools, there's also these but uh, these options. Since you're using a mouse, it doesn't really matter. But I, I recommend using a stabilizer if you're using an art tablet. I used to hate uh, I used to hate art uh, like brush stabilizers and things, but it it makes it so easy. I see. Give him candy. You haven't taught me how to shade in things within the shade. Yeah. That's that's what I'm trying to get at. One moment. Select invert. Weird. We have the base colors, right? Mm -hmm. Now, we want to color in the boy. Um, now, usually when I draw, oh fuck! Usually when I draw, uh, I will have a layer, and then I'll have another layer. So I'll select the uh, the area of the character that is put out in one color. And what I do is I'll make that. The base layer, I'll make it a light color if the character uses a lot of dark colors. You pretty much want contrast. You don't want it to be, you know, the same color of what you're coloring in. And then I'll add another layer on the top of that. And then I'll go back to the bottom, the base color layer. I'll select that. And then I'll go back up. And then I'll use this to color in. And that uh, with the bottom color layer, that gives a good reference of what areas you haven't colored. So I need to make a third layer. You use a lot of layers when drawing. Well, I know. Yeah. So we got that the lobby I, boy. I'm gonna. I have a, make a third layer lobby. now. Luber globbed. Oh, I didn't, I was not using the bucket. <laughs> Pink. Now he's pink. <laughs> I think I fucked up. There are, if if my explanations of things isn't the best, there are a bunch of tutorials and stuff that are explained on YouTube of everything on Krita, and there's probably some things I don't even know about that are explained on YouTube I'm about Krita because Krita's a very 
but it's a very large and complicated art program because even I don't know all the features and stuff. Not only that, it's also constantly updating and things, so. Ignore the fact that I'm making the boy glabby, globby, glab. Just give him a little bit of blush. Yes. Get that blush. Color the boy in to your heart's content. And now to give him his eye color. A picture. Usually, because right now what I'm doing is detailing and things, the uh, detailing and things. Usually I would put that on a separate layer, but I'm, I'm just, since it's a lazy doodle, I'm just going to put it on the same layer. It's not the end of the world. Just give him his eye color. Instead of using a bucket tool and being lazy and just scribbling it in. Again, I do I do recommend making your brushes larger and smaller. You can do it with a bracket key or you can do it at the top with the blue slider. No. No. Why? It would make your life to deal with it today. Be fair. It would make your life a lot easier. And there we go. We have nine 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 with Hi. this. <laughs> I think yours might be better than mine. <laughs> Wait, why? Are we actually going to do a poll to see whose is better? I mean, if you want to. <laughs> Everyone's going to vote for yours. <laughs> I've also been doing this a lot longer than you have. I also don't have as much art talent with Krita. There. The thing is, you don't even... I use a touchscreen one. With a pen that you can like draw on the screen with. You don't even need, you need to one of those. I, for a good year or two, used one that was no touch. Uh, it was just the pen and the tablet. And the, the tablet didn't have a screen. It was just like you would see your watch your screen and then draw. I also love how I gave 99 deformed hands. I mean, he's a glob. He doesn't have formed hands. <laughs> Okay, so now we have the base coloring. Yippee! Um, now you want to hit the plus sign. Now, this is the fun part. So select a color that's on the deeper end. Since he's orange, we should use a reddish color. I don't, okay, actually, okay. I don't recommend using that up there for selecting colors. Because it's kind of out of the way. I recommend using, because you have the advanced thing selected. So you see where the overview is? You see where the mini, mini little, small little blob that you drew is? Uh, hit, okay. Right? Okay. Wait, what? Okay, now go over, you see the little smaller SCP-999? Mm-hmm. Now, go up, hit advanced color selector. This, this one's so much easier to use. And now select... The color that you wish. Done. Okay. So. Now. Shade in the area you want.
done. <laughs> shade in more. Shade, shade in more while I shade in mine. I, I gave more shade to his blush. More and more. What, do you want me to give him demon eyes? Just I... just add, add add some shading while I'm... I'm yeah. Uh, I'm almost done. I'll make him have demon eyes. I mean, his father is a demon of sorts. Yeah. It, it makes sense. You know what we should do? Oh, fuck. We should just... Mm. Uh, I sh you should just send me yours, and I force Hatchet to choose which one's better. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even here. I would they say Bookworm, but they're too uh, loyal to me to say yours. <laughs> Damn, Bookworm. You really gonna be like that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Done. Demon nine 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 is ready. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so now, uh after I'm done cropping. Uh you if you want to change the background color of SCP nine nine nine. Only if you want. No. Okay. Okay, so now with your shading layer, mm -hmm. you want to hit it. Also, renaming the layers helps a lot. I I forget to do that. Uh, no, don't double click it. Don't double click it. Just click it. Okay, now go see the above parts. You see the opacity, the normal. Hit normal. Now, what you want to do when you hit normal is you want to go up. It's right above. Hit multiply. It's right above normal. Yep. And now you want to hit, you see opacity, you want to select opacity, and you want to put it down. I usually have mine under 50, but 50 is pretty good. You can't really go wrong with 50. Now, we're getting into complex things. So go back to layer. You see your layer. You see the blue? Okay. Go over to your right. Right. Yeah. More right. Right. One more. Right there. Click. Now, this is so it locks into you can only color in the shading. Now, what you want to do is, with your background, this is why I recommend changing it to a different color. Uh, this, sometimes in shadows, they have a bounce lighting effect. This breaks up just the melancholy one color shading. Now, not all things have to have two-tone shading, especially uh, skin sometimes doesn't, a lot of clothing doesn't. But shiny things will, matte things won't. It depends on like the how what the texture of what you are shading has. Usually, I don't really pay attention to those rules, and I use two tone shading because it makes it look good. But and what you want to do is you want to use your current one, and you want to grab the color of your background. So, or if you have if you want to, you can use your background or. You grab your current color, and you go to the opposite color on the color wheel. So since you're using red, you want to go to blue. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to move it over sl ever so lightly, more to the white area. Up, 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 that, yeah, that'll work, that works, yeah. Move it, move it lighter. And now... You go back, now you start coloring in. Oh, oh, I mean that technically could work. Now you want to go to your shading, and now you want to put this sparingly on your shadows. Preferably in the darkest areas you can you, you put it. Yeah, where put it, it touches all the in lines. the eyes. Oh, in the lines. Like closer to the lines. Wait, was I supposed to make another layer? No, no, you're you're fine. You're using the layers. You're using the shadow layer.
you don't have to color in completely. You want to use it sparingly. Just go around the edge. Boom. Oh my gosh, it looks like I'm giving 999 narcolepsy. <laughs> you have traumatized the boy. <laughs> Nine nine nine. When was the last time you slept? <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Wonderful, very great. <laughs> well done. It is okay, beautiful. Now, <laughs> it's something. We don't have much time left, by the way. Okay. Uh yeah. Okay, let's let's finish this up. So deselect. And now you want to Okay, right, now you want to go back to your magic wand. Go back, grab it, grab it the magic wand. Yep. Right there. Now select the go to your line layer. This is this is we're finishing up it up lazy way. Go up oh, to wait. your line layer. Yep. That's one. Now you yeah. want to select the outside of your line art. And now you want to hit, without, you don't hit the grow layer this time, you want to hit invert selection. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on mine one moment. So, we're, we're doing lighting the lazy way this time. So, you want to use your gradient tool, it's right next to your color picker tool. It's on the left, 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 right there, left, down. Down. It's above the. It's above the. Yeah, right there. And now, you want to make a new layer above line art. And now you want to select a color that is light, but not too light, and preferably matches your background. Ever, even if ever so slightly. You can also contrast your background. It depends. Not orange, but slightly close to orange. You don't want it to be too too close to the color of your character. There we go. Okay. Now with the gradient tool, you want to, wherever you have the idea of where light should be, you want to use that and you want to move the gradient tool down. It should make a line when you're using it. Yep. And the longer the line, the stronger the gradient. Okay, there's not much light shining on top of his head, so I'm going to put it right about there. Oh, dear God! <laughs> yeah, because that's, the, you see the, the thing that you selected? Uh, It's the top, it's where you used to get the coloring. Uh, You also want to undo that. Un un undo what you did. Yeah, there. Now go right there. And now hit the hit the one that has the checkers that has the black. I think that's the one you want. Yeah, that one. Select that one. Hit. Did you select it? Yeah. That. I don't think you. I selected it. See. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. Now he's got a little shiny head. And now you want to go back and you want to mess with the opacity. You can also hit the normal, you can hit normal again, and you can use, you can mess around with those. Usually lighten, lumosity, overlay, saturation, and screen, and soft light are usually the ones you want to go, but you can play around with whatever ones you want. Right about 92%, like, it looks like it blends in with the orange, makes it a little lighter at the top. Mm -hmm. But you, you can mess around with the opacity, if you want. I just did. Okay. <laughs> uh so and now under that underneath the light layer you want to uh, hit the line art hit line art now hit press the, the plus hit the plus and now this is the shadow layer uh the easier gradient shadow layer so that'll be underneath it got it yep and now what you want to do is you want to use the gradient and now you want to push upwards 
where your shadow and darkness would be, but very simplified. This can also usually, if you want a character to fade, or like certain parts of a character to fade into the background, this is also how you do it. Damn it. It's too much over here. It's because I, I did that little spiky thing right there that fucked me over. But oh well. I think that's fine. That, that, that looks fine. And then I do 2%. It, it looks like I made a surfer version of 999 that has narcolepsy. <laughs> Everyone starts somewhere bright. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you took a day at California. <laughs> this is what happens if 99 ever goes to California. And draws the illegal substances. Alright, what's next? Oh, uh, that's that's it. Okay, so Add how do I tweaks you want? I think I'm gonna decrease the shadow just a bit. Oh, wait, you don't know how to save, do you? I mean, it's not that hard to explain. It's how you usually save things on things like this. Uh, it's literally right here. It says save. There's also the big floppy disk. Go to pictures. Put it here. Oh, yeah, I forgot I saw I recommend... the faces folder. <laughs> well. Right, and yes, I recommend... Sorry, continue. No, I'm done. Uh, I also recommend uh, after stream. I recommend making a in your images. I recommend making a Krita saves folder and an uh, art folder. So with so the finished art that you make on Krita is saved in the art, and then the Krita saves are put in the Krita saves, and it it frees up clutter. All right, now we can hit because, X. Yeah, it, yeah. That save it clutters quickly. Do you see what I named it though? No, it's like five pixels. What did you name it? 999 Abomination. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'll now close it and I'll need you to send me yours so I can send it the hatchet. I should probably stop streaming so that you can't see what my files are called. <laughs> These are my files. They're Wait, secret. They're big, big secrets. I wonder if Chu is still streaming. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yes. Uh, mute. So I don't get in trouble. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely raiding Chu. Okay, so. So, you committed arsony. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll send you mine. Okay, I can close mine. Here you now. go. Ending. He's the boy. Even though it's on the ending screen. Um, okay, there's the boy. Yeah, I see. Got it. Uh, even though it's the ending, uh, this is not the end, because we're gonna raid Shu. And we're gonna sacrifice your family to the Elder Gods? <laughs> you know what? I was gonna say, let's say Chowo, uh, for the, uh, for a raid, but no, we'll just say sacrifice. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> just no context. Oh, just God. sacrifice. <laughs> Got it. All right. 
No, no context. Which one better? Sound like a caveman. Which one good? <laughs> Fire! Alright. In three, two, one. That last one is, but 